Alrighty guys, so we're going to be talking about power factor correction today. It's actually a subject I've been meaning to get around to for quite a while now, so um, I think I'll actually do this mainly as uh, right fast here it actually prompted me to do a video on power factor correction using Neon Sign Transformers. He's got a really, really good video on this, this power factor correction on his channel, which I'll link to you in the description to this one. So uh, yeah, check that out. It's a pretty pretty uh, handy video. It's going to be a lot more handier than this if you want to be working out all your calculations and stuff. This is just a demonstration of how much more efficient I can get my neon sign transformers on this Jacobs ladder by using power factor correction. It's a great little demonstration, really. So um, yeah, I'll show you the actual experiment first off without the power factor cap. I've got it hidden around the back there. It's currently not connected up. I'll connect it up to these leads here. So that's parallel to the input, live and neutral, onto the uh, the neon sign transformer here. So at the moment, nothing's connected. So we'll power it on, and uh, we'll bring it up to voltage. We'll bring it up to voltage, and uh, I'll show you how much how much power that actually draws, how many amps, you know. As the we'll just check out the spec plate on the neon sign transformer. So we we're, we're expecting about. 4.6 amps at 240 volts input to that to get our 10 kV out at 100 milliamps. So yeah, without further ado, I will turn that on and I'll show you guys. This is the um, a meter hat here. This actually displays power factor, but these meters are not brilliantly accurate. I don't know whether to trust or not. I haven't got anything to actually refer it to, but it does actually measure power factor. So um, I guess we can use that as an example. A little bit but I'm yet to prove whether that's accurate or not so yeah as soon as I got something I can reference that to then I'll let you guys know how accurate that actually is but yeah it gives you kind of a rough idea anyway so yep I'll uh, switch the variac on all right so now we should get some faults there I'm using my analog dials here so you guys can actually see properly what's going on so we'll close up the safe block so that's uh, do not walk over there, that's danger now. So, um, yep, yeah, I'll switch on the Variac and take it up to 100%. Okay, that's start to buzz now. 200 volts, there you go. It's already arced at 200 volts, so we'll bring it up to 100%. So there you go, that's running the Jacobs ladder, as you can see. Perfect. And amps, you're looking between, between 4 and 6 amps there. Well, Four and five and a half thereabouts. So it's uh, it's drawing quite a bit. The meter, the meter behind you can see it says 5.2, 5.1, 5 5.3, 5 with a supposed power factor of about 0 0.1512 thereabouts. Quite 0 0.2, if you will. So that's the uh, the neon sign transformer without a power factor correction capacitor on it. So there you go. It's running pretty inefficiently. It's doing its thing. Right. Okay, so I'll turn that down. Z yeah, love that sound. Turn it off. Open the safe block, safety first, definitely. And uh, just connect up this power factor correction capacitor. These are AC caps, so the polarity doesn't really matter. So if I can just wiggle these connections on here, just bear with me a second, guys. I'll just connect that up. Put the camera there. Just connect this up into there. There we go. Beautiful. On there. Right. Okay, guys. So we go. We've connected into parallel with the input to the neon sign transformer with the power factor correction cap. So we got 70 microfarads here, plus or minus five percent. They're rated to 400 volts for that many hours, and they go through that kind of stuff, you know. So yeah, pretty cool. That's the motor run cap, so they're pretty heavy duty, and. Uh, We'll try that on, okay? All right, so we'll close up the safe block again, turn the power on, and crank up the volts. All right. Okay, you see the amps flying already? And then as soon as it fires, there you go. So now it's actually, you notice it actually started drawing more amps as it started up, that's it charging the capacitor, but as soon as it starts using that power at the right frequency, as it is there, it is uh, now drawing between one and two and a half, did I just see? 
one and two amps here. So according to this one, it's drawing about 1.5 and it's got a power factor between, I saw 0.85 there and 0.43 when it's not actually doing anything. So it's averaging out at about possibly 0 0.6, 0 0.65 there about. So yeah, pretty cool. So you get, you're probably saving about possibly 60% there, 60% less power going into that neon sign transformer there and that Jacob's ladder just by using the 70 microfarad cap for a 100 milliamp 10 kV transformer. So pretty cool. That is actually quite a lot of uh, efficiency there. You know, you're saving quite a lot of energy just by using a capacitor on that, which is brilliant. That's exactly what we want really. So yeah, pretty impressive stuff. So Ridefast is uh, was right about this. He did suggest using the uh, the 35 milliamp with the uh, not 35 milliamp, sorry, 35 microfarad with the uh, with the 50 milliamp transformer, and the 70 with the 100 milliamp transformer to get the uh, power factor pretty pretty decent. As you can see there by the that's a possible rough estimate for power factor. By the way, guys, that's not accurate at all. So, pretty cool, pretty impressed with that, and uh, yeah, cheers, ride fast. That's uh, pretty cool, and quite successful in the end. So uh, yeah, I'll link, I'll link to your channel and uh, watch it, guys. It's quite an interesting video, very, very handy, especially if you're doing uh, Tesla calls and you want to bring the current down a little bit. You know, get your efficiencies up, so you don't have to load up your uh, your other stuff. You know, like your energy bill or your variac or whatever else you're tr trying to run on it. So. Pretty cool guys, so I'll just power that down. <laughs> Alright, unplug, safety first. Switch them all off. So yeah, pretty impressive that guys, that's quite impressive. Uh, one thing to note about capacitors, uh, safety wise, is obviously they can hold a charge. Uh, just be careful guys, if you are messing around with these, they, do hold, they can hold a charge. Best to put a uh, resistor in in uh, parallel with, with the actual um, capacitor, this one's still connected to the windings of the um, of the input of the neon sign transformer there, so that will slowly discharge. But just give it time, guys. It's good to have a um, a voltmeter on that on that connection there, just so you know what what's going on with the uh, the capacitor because those can catch you out because obviously it's all switched off. But these capacitors can actually hold charge, so just be careful with those guys. They will bite, and that will hurt quite a bit. I've not actually tried it yet, and I don't intend to. So, but they do make a hell of a noise if you short them out. So you can get an idea of how much power is stored in those things. So that would have discharged by now, but just be careful, guys. Those things can catch you out, especially if you're tired or don't know too much about them. Okay, alrighty, guys. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you all again in the next video. Cheers, guys.